to everyone who is going to be watching, I have two devices on, so I'm going to chat with um, my Facebook Live on one and Zoom on the other. Um, our <laughs> our Zoom is not connecting to Facebook for some reason, so we will improvise today. So hello and welcome. Today I'm going to chat with you um, some live business coaching here. I do have a couple of videos that I'll post on our YouTube page and also uh, here in our group, Facebook group, My Soul Reconnection by Healing Soul School. And some calls that I've done this week just for those who either were looking for healing or uh, were looking for some business advice and what to do. And today, hi Karen, today I want to chat about, you know, what if you have this idea or you have, you don't know what you want to do. You are getting the squeeze, I call it, with your life at work and it's just, you're triggered or you're just not feeling like maybe that's the space for you anymore and you want to move into something different. So we're really just going to talk about today, what does that look like? How do you move forward when you are, you've outgrown your old life? <laughs> so my name is Christine Cardoza, uh, one of the co-founders of the Healing Soul School. If you're new to us, welcome. We're just grateful to share space with you. And we understand entrepreneurs. We have uh, been in business and uh, Virginia and I, my business partner, have been in business a long time and we've also had our own healing journey. So we're incorporating both because in order for you to grow and to move up in, in the entrepreneurial world or to start from maybe a nine to five and moving into what your soul is or your heart is calling you to do, uh, there are some stages, there are some growth processes within that. And so we're here to hold your hand because whatever level you are, if you're start, your growth, or you want to scale bigger, um, which is half a million or more, then the subconscious is there and it might trip you up. It might give you those wobbles and now you're in your fear and your doubt and you've created or you've worked all these years in uh, maybe an industry or your program and now all of a sudden you have some fears. It could be some older stuff that's coming up and uh, I love the subconscious. I'm a huge nerd for that. Hello Ruth, welcome. Let us know where you're watching from. It would be great to know. And uh, just let me know in the comments if you are a, an entrepreneur. It could be a start entrepreneur where you're just in the beginning stages, so less than 50,000. Um, and then if you're in growth, so 50,000 and up, you've got a bit of a groove going. Let me know if you're a growth entrepreneur. Um, or if you are looking at the ideas, you're in idea phase. You just know that you don't want to go back to your regular nine to five or whatever you're doing on a mo on Monday morning. <laughs> um, so today we're talking about like how do you start when you're when you're looking at a business um, for those who maybe have um, had some kind of a past or something that really just lights you up inside or you could talk about it forever. Uh, I'll use myself as an example. So I love the subconscious. I love teaching people about mindset. And I've been doing that for a number of years, actually, before I knew you could even get paid as a coach online. That was something that I learned and started July of 2020. And so from that space, what happened was I had been in a, a really bad depression and really just started to research mindset. I took a few courses and such and was able to really, it helped me, it helped me a lot. And, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to help people to get to that space faster where you didn't have to be, you know, held down. Uh, for me, it took three years to kind of really get a handle on that and it can be done so much faster. So in our business, you know, as we're growing or we're developing or we're thinking, you know what, I'd love to help people. Maybe you want to, you know, coach and mentor on something in wellness for there's so many different areas or you have some spiritual gifts. You are maybe really in tune with your emotions or you're an empath or you're you have some psychic abilities. We all have them. Just some people, you know, they are they have them a little bit more. And so how do you take those gifts? How do you take those and turn those into a business? Uh, if you had any kind of um, I would say if you are an empath or you're able to read people's energies or you have some psychic abilities, then what you can do is just figure out what else are your gifts? You know, what else is there? Are you able to talk to people? Are you okay leading a group? Maybe you want to be a support person. Maybe you want to be a virtual assistant. I really do feel that the more we develop our 
our abilities to tap into our intuition or psychic abilities, which can be scary for some people, especially if you were raised in any kind of religion. Um, I was ex Jehovah's Witness and Baptist. And so we were taught that that was taboo, that it was evil and to not even look at those things. Um, but really, there's so many beautiful things you could do with your intuition. You could help people. I mean, a lot of people start with card reading. You know, if you have oracle cards, um, tarot is similar, just has more of a structure. It could be that you take some healing courses or you have taken a whole bunch of healing courses and modalities, but you don't really know what to do with them or you don't feel confident in your business abilities then that's what we teach as well. We're teaching business owners how to have a strong foundation and also where you might be, you know, tripped up. You know, I, I love doing that and just kind of going into your old patterns and what's there so that we can use those. It's actually your medicine, which is really cool. And you can use those to reach out to a certain group of people that are going to resonate with you and with your story. But we're also teaching you the skills so that you feel confident. You feel like you actually are a business owner and not some who had a good idea and you're just deciding to try it or give it a go all right thank you so much for um, being here hi mom <laughs> today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a card so I'm gonna pull an oracle card just for you know maybe it'll give us some direction the one I was pulling yesterday was all about sharing your voice if you know if in your next life as an example or if you were if you know you could do anything you wanted and you knew that your path was secure and you would not fail what would you do? Would you stay in your current position? Would you reach out and help people maybe who are suffering or who, who need some help? Or maybe you're a whiz at posting online or social media or you're a whiz at tech. Oh my goodness. Many creatives need tech. <laughs> we need tech help and we need people to step into that role. So it's whatever feels good. What are the things that are kind of like your hobbies and feels good to you? Those are things that you can turn into a business as well. I knew it. It's all about trusting your path. <laughs> so this card here, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So often when you're thinking about a business or there's something, you know, that's exciting to you is, you know, what are some of the things that you research? What do you love to watch? What are things maybe that you just get the tingles when you're talking about it? Or you could talk to people forever about this one thing or, um, I, I think often what happens is it's something that you've already had in your in your existence or in your life or in your wheelhouse. So chatting with someone um, this week about she was a doula, Victoria, if you're watching, this is your story here. So she has been a doula and has had a baby and she doesn't want to go back to that anymore because she's just kind of frustrated with the regular medical system. And so she's deciding what to do. And because she knows a lot about the body, because she could talk about you know, new moms being able to calm their anxiety or even for, I'll just talk about her for a second. So with her, if she could easily flip that into a support system or group, but teach them something, teach them how to connect to their inner consciousness. She's spiritual and, and has psychic abilities. So she could teach them really even like muscle testing and, ha and the baby's crying or, you know, maybe they're, they're in, having some food and it's not doing well with them she could actually teach the moms how to muscle test that so that they can you know just understand the baby and what foods are beneficial for the baby or not without even having to go to a doctor which is really awesome like there's so many things that she could do just based on her experience and what she has already uh, so we'll play her story in the Facebook live today or in our group so you could see her story as I coached her and um, just gave her some ideas and it was really cool because I, I recorded that I think on Thursday and she just had some really neat things come through for her kind of like putting those puzzle pieces together and I want to interview her again kind of like part two because she's really like she's on a roll now and she's excited she's like this is so cool all these things are coming in and I'm like awesome you know we're helping her to pave her way and so instead of being in confusion reach out to me we'll figure out a time to have a chat and just see where you are and what is calling you you know Virginia and I really want to help people to step into their 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 passion or their gifts so that they can help other people and to be there to support you and hold your hand so that it's not so scary um, here's another one so this is starseed what lights you up absolutely so so in alignment with that card is it's what feels good to you 
I'm going to share, you know, uh, one of our courses that we're going to start here at the Healing Soul School is called Naked Alchemy. And for me, this is a passion project of, of mine because I had, um, real, I guess, grown up really feeling like I never had my own voice totally meant to be. And, and I learned and I've grown and, and have um, really just found my true identity the last few years through that through the the contrast so that's been great and it's to help people feel okay to be vulnerable i really do feel you know society doesn't teach us about emotions and boundaries and stuff like that early on in our lives when it would be so important to know that kind of stuff especially as a teenager that you don't have to have so many of the insecurities and so my guide is here right now which is awesome i have a guide on my left arm she loves when I talk about naked alchemy because it's all about teaching people how to be um, emotionally uh, resilient and to learn some basic tools so that you can be much better inside. Like you can heal yourself. You're feeling really good about, you know, maybe who you're talking to. You can un you can see red flags. Like if I, I love it for the dating world. So if you're in the dating, you know, you're dating and there's some red flags, maybe you are a people pleaser and that's how you grew up. That's totally me. And so there would be things where I would just let it go or, or not say something because I was afraid of, afraid of abandonment or rejection. And now, you know, that I, I understand there's certain levels of relationship and that goes for business or in a, in a romantic relationship or even in your family, um, that just having those tools and that basis can really make you feel so strong and confident in your own skin that you will attract a higher quality person for yourself instead of being in the same relationship or maybe if you are in a relationship already these same things are happening over and over it's you <laughs> there's something in you that is asking to be healed or changed everything that happens is a mirror for us there's something there to to show us what it is that we could maybe heal or release or let go and so for that you know how that works is i i bought the domain so i naked alchemy.com and ca so i have have those and when we're ready you know we can just have like a funnel or a, something that introduces them to that program under our healing soul school umbrella so that we are able to teach people that emotional resiliency intimacy how to have intimacy and to feel that within yourself right so this is a business that I just it was a download that came I love it I just want to help people to open up being open to receive open to being having pleasure and it being okay um, a very vulnerable story is you know at the age of 12 I heard my mom and dad having some fun and I was like I was mortified I didn't know what was happening and I was like why is that all what are those sounds coming <laughs> and so it just like it shut me down and so like to sing in public or to ask for what I want this happens in business in life in the bedroom it's all connected and so it's really just teaching people how to open up and how to heal any shame heal any of the stories that we've held on to you know that could that is what I mean as far as like just having something that is special or important to you to be able to bring that out into the world maybe you want to help single moms maybe you want to help you know maybe you've been in an industry so you've learned something or you have a skill especially if you have like Reiki or massage therapy you could easily turn that into a business online um, chat with me if you're wondering on how to do that but it's simply if you know so much in one area and it's been your training ground all of these years you could flip that into something else absolutely using those same skills or maybe you're done you're like nah I don't want to do that anymore then use the, the same gifts and skills that you learned and you flip that into something that you really like okay whatever lights you up all right um, if you have any questions please let me know hi Jane good to see you Jane is a psychic medium who can connect with loved ones who have passed away and she can also connect with ancestors which is so amazing um, I was asking her about my dad I never met him and and I had a, a different reading about the word more and I didn't really know what it was, so I asked if she could connect, and she gave me some, you know, some messages from that. So super cool. And then her business, you know, just she's been working in a medical office, and she has these beautiful gifts, this psychic ability that she could help others. Imagine you have a loved one that passes away, and you just feel like just 
there's something there that there's a message or if something is not complete you can reach out to beautiful people like Jane and you can have your answers you know um, given to you or you know whatever feels good or resonates she could also help maybe people who are missing you know that could be something else she could add on her website if that's what she's comfortable with I just thought of that now Jane <laughs> um, and I'll play our video when I was coaching her just like kind of like transitioning from that nine to five to business this is a really important interview for those who are transitioning because imagine you have had a paycheck you've been on this like regular income nine to five and all of those things and now you're gonna shift into working for yourself for her she's got to make sure she's set up financially so she doesn't go into survival mode right so she's got some money set aside or she has a plan of even if she said okay you know for the next four months I'm gonna put money aside and I'm going to work towards building this business or six months or a year it doesn't even matter what the time is but that you have a plan so that you're moving in that direction and the idea is that you know she gets help building her business so that it is strong there's a foundation there's consistency money coming in that makes her feel good when you're not in survival or you're not in the scarcity mindset you are going to show up stronger your gifts are going to show up stronger because you're not in this fear you're not wondering okay how am I going to pay the bills or you know all of those things and so it's really just setting yourself up for success there are some definite tools and some steps on how to do that and that's what we're here to do and help people you know um hold their hand for those who would like to have a business and you have no idea what to do here's something that I love teaching and this is healing the first three chakras so base chakra anyone who has had any kind of abuse they didn't have their parent their parents weren't available to them emotionally this is a lot of society guys um, anyone who's adopted or doesn't know their bio parents or had a very strict or narcissistic kind of parent was raised in a very strict religion was raised in a cult like all of these things is you've got some some very similar symptoms and, and some things there that you could actually turn into a business and you can help people to heal those parts so healing the first three chakras so I was raised um, third generation ex Jehovah's Witness so I have a call that um, we have under the healing soul school for people who were raised in a narcissistic kind of home environment or maybe in a marriage or in a relationship because it continues on if you were heavily controlled as a child then either you're going to control yourself or others when you're older and so that could be a business in and of itself it's something something that you have experienced or you know that you've been able to go through and now you're able to help others to relieve their pain or their sorrow of what you've learned and we'll teach you that stuff like I'll teach you how to set up the business that part is so easy for me to show you how to do that and healing the first three chakras could simply be you could create a, a membership or a support or a program that could be eight weeks to start off if you're brand new to get some experience and really to learn what it's like to chat with people and you know and have people checking in with you and being accountable and teaching and the teaching isn't hard you could teach a lesson one week and show up for Q&A on the second call so that people are just getting your your time and your expertise in one area um, healing emotions or helping people set boundaries healthy boundaries were you bullied you could help people who are being bullied in the workspace that's another thing that could be a business but I really feel that people are coming more into their spirituality and really connecting in from that inner consciousness and so teaching meditation and breath work and healing the first three chakras would be you know a way to have a business so that you are teaching them how to feel safe and secure not doubt themselves maybe come out of like suicidal kind of things or whatever to help empower them you're empowering other people um, and I pulled this last card here so it's the ever unfolding rose and I love this card because it's really about you know can you help people to really tap into themselves to heal that inner part <clears throat> excuse me and it's a woman here um, she's just got her arms stretched out and her heart is facing up to the sky and to space or like just reaching up like I'm open right opening ourselves because if you were um, well just think about what you have now if you're afraid to speak to others or you are shy or 
um, <laughs> you're just maybe hiding in life or hiding in your business, then this is a really good card for you because it's like, how can you open? How can you open yourself up to what it is? It's called, it says cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So the things that are happening around you, they're to show you something. There's some kind of trigger or it's your medicine, but also you can create a business from something that you have had in your past or is a, a joy or a passion that you have now to be able to turn that and uh, help others and you feel so good like when you know I was in corporate and all of you know those like when I worked for a travel company and I love talking about travel but I started to get that squeeze where I was like oh the pain of booking a trip was way harder <laughs> in the last and so that was easy transition for me because I was like you know what I'm done there and moving into something where now I'm teaching people how to open themselves up how to come out of hiding how to heal any of the things that are holding us back from our past so that we can step into you know our power and, and what we are here for tell you that I have worked with a number of beautiful healers and entrepreneurs and business women this past year and you know they have their stuff together they got their website they've got their courses you know they've been working on this stuff for a really long time but there's still something that's holding them back and you look at them and you think wow like I'm I, you're such a great businesswoman or such a great you know healer or mentor or whatever it is that they're doing but they have this fear still you know, one that will stick with me forever was the, you know, the lady who she's way ahead of me in, in business and healing and, and the path and her programs and everything that she has designed. No comparison. <laughs> but when I look at her, I'm like, wow, you know, so cool. I can't wait to get to your spot one day or like, this is neat because I really want to, you know, kind of embody what she's got going on as well. And she was so nervous to show me her website. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even have one. Like, <laughs> you're light years ahead of me right now. You know, this is back in the spring. I'm like, let me see. You know, but it was just so fascinating to me that we still can hang on to some of that subconscious programming. And so we just looked at her patterns and we helped. I helped her I'm like let's what is that where is that coming from because if you're hiding from me and I'm here to help you in so much love no judgment I'm a safe space and you're hiding from me then this is also going to be how your clients receive you where they're not going to necessarily sign up because they there's they sense the fear they sense that there's some kind of hiding when we look at our electromagnetic signature and how we speak to people before we even open our mouth or we come on a live is, you know, people can read if we maybe aren't sure or there's some kind of thing where we're hiding or there's shame or you're like, I don't have all my shit together. How am I going to help someone else? Okay. No one's life is perfect. There's always stuff going on. You know, this has been the craziest week for me. Stuff with my car, stuff with the cats, like all these things are just happening. My house is torn apart and I'm like, all right, I'm in live lunch. I'm just focused I'm gonna serve during these hours and I'll go deal with the stuff you know at those other hours and so just telling you life doesn't stop life is always gonna come up but it's just you know stepping into your power into your truth of who you are and why you're here and uh, just really honored and excited to share this time with you and just say you know whatever you're here for you could just ask the universe you know what I did is I just surrendered and I said okay source I don't want to be a travel agent anymore. There's so many people who are hurting in the world. How can I help other people? How can I show up in the world? What does the collective need in this next six months? And it was then that the Healing Soul School came in, the downloads. I would wake up in the morning and <laughs> poor Virginia would be like, you know, blah, 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 all these messages I send her are like, okay, this is what happened when I woke up this morning or this was in my dream. You know, like I think this is where we're, we're headed as far as our business. And then the Conscious Business Showcase came of like uniting business owners together and interviewing them. I had really no idea why that came through, but I just trusted and I, you know, we did the two day event and we were having a lot of fun and we've interviewed, I don't know, over a hundred entrepreneurs now, but it's cool because I got to listen to their story. I got to see what kind of business they have. And it really helped us to kind of formulate who we're helping. And it also showed me, you know, where people are struggling out there. And now that's what we're helping people with, which is really neat. It's a shift. 
back in we when we you know it was last December of 2020 when the downloads came for the Healing Soul School, we actually thought we were going in to help people to meditate and their mindset and connect, you know, into companies. It's something about companies was what was coming up and hire a lot of coaches and uh, I said to Virginia you know we were planning and I said I'm still I'm also getting a vision of a big red brick wall and it's just like companies yes but not into companies like how we thought we were going in and it turns out we're helping those who run the companies to really just heal any of those emotional wounds step into your power how you know build that confidence confidence and consciousness and really just teaching you how to to, you know, step in that a how-to community we are, where we're teaching you actually how to run your business, what the back end looks like. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, man, you have any like tech questions in Virginia? Don't get, <laughs> don't get nervous here. But Virginia is so good at the logistic, logistical stuff and like how to get everything set in order and done quickly. She's going to be such a, you know, a huge benefit for those who are chatting with her on Wednesdays when we have our office space or our office hours. And then I'm doing two. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays is about mindset and really getting you into a space of confidence in your business and releasing any of the stuff that's holding you back. And then Thursday, you know, we're diving into that, the business of like, what do you need? What does your website look like? What, how are you showing up on social media? Is your message clear? We can practice. Let's do sales calls or enrollment calls so that when you are doing them, or maybe you have been doing them or you suck at them, or, you know, it's, it's not your strong suit then you either hire someone to do it or you learn how to do that yourself in your business and we are here we'll coach you we'll practice with you so that when you are doing it for an audience for the first time or a one-on-one -on -one with someone that you feel strong you know the words to ask and the questions so it's not that you're tripping over but you're actually you have this plan there is a set plan on on how you start a foundation for your business <laughs> yeah, Virginia's happy to help. Honestly, she is just so good. She can look at, you know, what I'm dealing with or whatever. And she's like, Hey, do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, like she just, a, it's just a different opinion. It's just, or a different perspective of someone who's not in the hot mess. And she goes, Oh, easy. Bang, bang. Or, you know, we need something in the business. And she says, okay, you know, I did this or this is all done. And I'm like, oh, amazing. Um, so just good to have that. We also, you know, for the business side is maybe you're ready to hire a virtual assistant or you know we'll teach you what that looks like that's another piece of it so that you're not wearing all of the hats maybe you do in the very beginning absolutely and it's good to learn the pieces of your business but then knowing how to hire and trust someone and that's where mindset and healing emotions on Tuesday is going to be very helpful because you don't want to hire someone who's just really nice no, you want to hire someone who is effective, who is, you know, in alignment with you. I would say who is intuitive or who has that those skills, um, because that's just a different way. You're also going to have to know how to fire people. And if you don't have the skin to do that, then that's what Tuesdays is going to be for. We're going to, you know, make that skin thicker or build that confidence so that you do know how to run a business like a CEO and you're not just winging it and hoping that clients will see your post and come in. That's not how business works. Like, yes, there's got to be some aligned action, but it's also got to be very clear like that lighthouse I've been building up this week for you. Yeah, systems. Virginia loves finding a system. <laughs> Her brain is so good for that. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Super grateful. <laughs> awesome. So, um, any questions, please pop them in the chat. Um, or if anyone wants to come on and be coached live, I'd love to do that too and hear for you. Other than that, what I'm going to do is um, I have three different coachings that I have done this week and we're going to pop them in the Facebook group for you so you can watch them um, as you wish. One was for someone who was looking for healing, um, Janet, and she has a concussion from a car accident. So we started to piece it together and she's an ex Jehovah's Witness as well. And it was just like, bam, 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 here is your patterning. This is why those things have been happening. If you are clumsy, you are having car accidents or speeding tickets, like there's a message in that and you'll get that from her interview. Um, and then Jane, who's on here. Thank you, Jane, for her transitioning from corporate to her own business and kind of the steps and the fears and even the fear around around the word business, like oh, I own my own business. And it's like, yes, 
Yes, but it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't mean that you have to take on all of the things by yourself. And also having a support network is so key because, you know, entrepreneurship is like this. And so you just want to have someone to be like, hey, how about this? Or a support, uh, you know, being in a group of other entrepreneurs who are just like you, who maybe are, you know, mystics or healers or speak the same language. That is so powerful. That was one thing I found after spending over fifty thousand dollars on coaching the last few years is that they didn't see me they had some great things that they were showing me and you know great systems and all of that to put together but they didn't see me as who i was and what my gifts were and where i was stuck and definitely nothing was brought up about patterning or some shadow work they recommended a book to read but uh, I would like to speak to someone <laughs> for help with that, you know, when I'm not understanding instead of going and trying to do that on my own. That's not something that, you know, I recommend for everybody, but it's all good. It helped me to form the school and how we want to help people. We want to be that one stop shop where you come in and we got you like where are you stuck? If it's logistics, is it emotional? Is it energetic and you need some kind of clearing? Is it, you know, generational? There's all kinds of things there that, you know, we're just open and aware of on how the physical world works, but also how the spiritual realm and energy works because tell you whatever is in your electromagnetic signature, that's what's coming out to the world, right? So I had mentioned the story, I think I said it this week earlier, of like another beautiful healer who was getting uh, messages from guys that were not, they was about how she, pretty she was and like all that kind of stuff, but it was really bothering her and she wanted to shut everything down. I'm like, okay, that's weird. That doesn't normally happen to people. And so it's like, why is this happening? And it was tied to something that happened in her childhood that she had healed the event, but not the emotions or what she was giving out. And so it takes someone else to see that because when you're in it or you're hearing yourself or you're in your thoughts all the time and you haven't figured out how to heal and move on from that, you're not going to see it. A fish doesn't see the water that it's swimming in, right? So it's really important to have someone around you that can help you through those things and helping you hold your hand to take those next steps, um, which is really neat. And then there are three. What was the other one, Virginia? So it was Jane going from corporate to her mediumship company and helping people um, reach out to loved ones that have passed on and ancestors, which I think is so cool. Uh, healing concussions and what that could mean and also you know she wants this the lady Janet she wants to help other people as well so that's really cool because she's also shifting uh, the source or spirit was like super clear she broke her ankle healed herself from that was about to go back to work first day had the car accident she's not meant to go back to that office <laughs> she's meant to switch and to do other things and so if you're not listening to your intuition the universe is going to bring in some big things to show you um, and to have you sit on your butt you know to be able to observe and, and to learn those things and uh hi heather hi jesse good to see you yeah, it's all about showing you the path, right? And just tuning in um, to what that is. I have another lady who, um, beautiful, beautiful woman. She was raised in a very strict religion, never really understood, got married. A lot of things happened, you know, her not having to have children and stuff and ended up being um, that she was gay. Met a woman, they got together, they've been together a long time. and But she never felt understood and she always felt kind of ostracized from her family and such. And I'm like, oh man, there are so many people who are just like you, how you felt back then when you didn't have the support and now you can nurture them. You know, she wasn't able to have her own children, but really wanted to. And I said, great, this could be your opportunity to nurture other people if that resonates with you. So there's just, there's so many things that you can do in so many different directions and paths you can take. And so I strongly urge you, if you're not clear or you're stuck, please reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. Let's get you unstuck. And then whether it's with us for our resources or another way that I know that's out there that can help you, I'm a connector. I know about a lot of different types of businesses, a lot of different types types of healings and what's available from free to stuff that's you pay for so wherever you're stuck or wherever you know you are having some of those things let me know let's have a conversation and we'll see kind of you know what could be your next path on that way shower so you know be brave reach out to me in a dm let's have a conversation and we can start to get things going i know who the um the third one was so it was um victoria the one who wanted to switch from being a um, 
a doula to her own business as a new mom. So that's the third interview that we'll put up in the, in the Facebook group. So you can see that it'll be under guides as well. Um, and Jesse, you say you want to work with orphans. That's awesome. Um, I love that. What's the time? How are we for time? 136. Jesse, if you want to come on live, um, let me know and we'll talk about it now, what you want to do or any anything that any questions you have in your business if not reach out to me and let's have a call but working with orphans is really amazing you know there's something in your past or in your heart or in your passion of like that you have something to provide for them um, are you an orphan as well or are you adopted I should say or um, is that why that resonates I'm curious why it resonates if you are comfortable sharing then you can pop that in the chat uh, Jessie has a travel background like me, so it's it's been interesting. I was kind of stalking her profile <laughs> for a little while of like we're in the same spiritual mastermind and just kind of watching we are now, I feel, helping people with their soul travel. So that's been kind of cool to um, just see where she's at and and the transition. So yeah, that's kind of, those are some tips and some suggestions on kind of how to move from wherever you are. It's either you have a business already and you're stuck and you're just needing those next steps and how those are, you know, it can work with you like right from the beginning, your spiritual vision, getting you really safe and secure on your, um, your path and, and how to move forward with that. Or maybe you're starting from the beginning, or maybe you're at the idea stage, or maybe you're, you are at the, get me the hell out of my job stage. And you're like, I need some help and some support. What could I do? Oh my gosh, my brain is so full of ideas. So would love to help you with that. Uh, Jesse's saying, I felt like my parents are great. Just had their own healing to do. Yeah, absolutely. We release our parents because they just did the best they could with the gifts or the, the tools that they had. And, uh, back in the day, just think about it, you know, parents went back to work, not, you know, sorry, I should say moms started going to work. So instead of being at home, um, and, uh, one parent working, one at home, home cooked meals, all of that, you know, there was just a different change. And, you know, I think even with society was a lot of the, um, parenting, even there were books, um, Dr. Spock, I think it is, or even, um, the pregnancy, the first year of your pregnancy book, where they were teaching you to leave the child crying in the crib. And it's like, wow, that is not how you raise a secure baby. So you might have had two parents, but they were doing the best that they could with what they were reading or what they felt in their intuition, but you still felt like you had a need or a lack that wasn't met. Um, very common and it's your path. It's what you came here to experience and to heal. Just reading through the comments here. Yeah, healing the patterns. Yeah. And the parents of others. Absolutely. So it's cool because Jesse, for you wanting to help, um, orphans, I really do feel like anyone who has been adopted or, uh, given up for adoption or is an orphan, there is this feeling of they don't belong in the world, that nobody chose them. That's base chakra healing. And so if you can work with them and teach them how to heal, even the first three chakras, man, that's so powerful for their lives. Like to feel, imagine, you know, feeling for the first time that you are loved and you are worthy. Like that is massive, so massive. And there are so many people, whether you had parents or not, that are not in that space where they feel that they are worthy or deserving and so if that is in your heart or that's something that you think you might want to create even as a hobby and just have like a support system, the people will find you. If you're very clear on who it is that you help, maybe it's empty nesters, maybe it's parents or, you know, moms, you want to work with women. Women often usually get the help. Um, you want to work with women who gave their whole lives to the kids. They gave, they gave, they gave, and now the kids are out of the house and they're empty nesters or now they're raising their grandchildren and um, they just feel like they've always given and they don't know how to fill their own cup. That's also another business, depending on where you are. Obviously you're in the same kind of demographic as them so that they resonate with you. Yeah. Seeing everyone as being of light. We all want love. Absolutely. And so today I'm going to end this call, but I just want to share with you, you know, you are seen, you are heard 
And if no one has told you today that they love you, then let me be the first. I love you. We, Virginia and I love you. We're so excited, you know, that you're here and part of our community and sharing this space with us. Ruth, I see you too. And, um, you know, that there is a path. There is a way to heal yourself. There is a way to step into your empowerment and to add contribution to others where you feel so good and you are contributing to the to others who are you know you're empowering them in whatever way that is a much more exciting way to live and that and there is the help out there that you just you have to ask you have to feel safe and secure to ask and if you didn't grow up feeling that way then this is your open invitation please reach out to me I don't I'm not scary I won't bite uh, <laughs> and I really just want to help you I want to help you get clear so that you are able to stand you know in your power and what you're here for this is the remembering why are you here sweet soul you know what is it that you've come here for and uh, it's just so excited to see how everyone grows and evolves. And if anything from this week really stood out or you have some feedback or you want to pop, you know, give us a testimonial. We love that. You know, we love when you share the love, too. So, you know, whatever feel, feels good or whatever resonates uh, in our on our YouTube page, the meditations are there. And this week was, again, all planned with purpose. So the soul reconnection, if you had any kind of trauma or you just don't feel connected to yourself or your higher self, go and watch that one first. It's to reconnect your soul self back to you so that you're in this place of I'm not alone. I have my spirit team or I am connected to my higher self where your answers are coming from. Maybe you never knew to ask and to connect. And so you've been struggling and living this life where now you can connect to your higher self and your soul self and to check in, you know, what is here for me? How do I move forward in this? Instead of saying there's no solution, man, <laughs> I don't believe that. The law of polarity says every problem has a solution. You know, there's something there. And uh, day two was all about, uh, that was our confidence day. So day two, I'm just drawing a blank. <laughs> yes, healing the past. Day two is about healing the past, letting go of the junk. If you need to go back and start those meditations over again, I recommend it because it's it was leading you up to something. Okay, so reconnecting yourself back to yourself for the first one and then healing the past for the second. The third was all about... Um, Sorry, I'm just drawing a blank. My computer is not up the way it is normally. Um, the third. Day three was focus and structure. Yeah, what was the meditation in the morning? Uh, the meditation on day three was do your money story. Yeah. Thanks. She's always got my back. Heal your money story. Um, that is a big one. That is massive. If you lived in any kind of scarcity, not even just money, if you lived in time scarcity and you have money, if you if you had any, um, yeah, any kind of scarcity, go and listen to that one. It could be love, time, or money because that will be very helpful for you on just like healing and releasing and anything that comes up in your mind or as you're going through your day, you can use those same steps and just clear it. Just picture it running down the drain or you're in the shower and use that as your time to clear any of the, the mind garbage that might be in, in there and just let it go and release it and clear it. Uh, and then day four was all about grounding your business. I, I know what day four and five are. <laughs> Those are in front of mind. Um, but all about like imagining you and your business, even if you don't know what it is, and just imagine what does it look like? Who's coming? You know, those kinds of questions that you ask your brain and your subconscious are really going to help you um, just to call that in and for it to come to fruition. If you build it, they will, will come. You have to see it in your mind first before it's ever going to come into fruition in your in your real life. So if you want to build a big business or you want to, you know, earn whatever or you want to have this many clients or you want to heal, you know, this many people or you want to help this many orphanages, like have that all written down um, so that you are moving towards that. The universe knows what direction you want to go in. Don't just wing it. If you wing it, you're going to struggle your whole life. And then day five was all about visualization, about like really feeling into 
as if you have it right now. So this is a little bit of law of attraction, but you got to heal the junk first so that you really do feel that you actually are worthy. You're worthy as the day you were born, not because of anything you do or what you have or anything like that. You are here on this earth. You are worthy, period, end point. That's it. So you just hang on to that. You know, I am safe. I'm safe to feel worthy. I am open to receiving is our message for today. And, you know, that visualization is, again, build it got to build it before it comes into your life so if you're wanting a new house or for me I love the beach so if I'm wanting a house with water view then when I go into that visualization or in my meditation like we teach in the morning or during my lull in the afternoon how delicious to go into the space of like I'm in my dream house there's a view of the water like at my bedroom is wall-to-wall -wall windows so that there will be a day when I'm in that bedroom and I'm gonna go wow actually I dreamt this like this was in one of my visualizations back in 2021 it's gonna happen that's how the things work right so many times you hear stories of people who had a vision board um, I don't vision boards I'm kind of on the fence if you have some lower stuff and you don't believe that you're worthy or you know there's some things there then the vision board is nice definitely but um, you got to work on those things too um, to really actually step into believing that that boat or that house or whatever is going to be yours um, then the stories of like people saying wow look at my vision board this is my exact car or this is my exact house with the pool <laughs> whatever it is it's not a coincidence like that stuff is real that's energy and that stuff happens so just really getting into that um, juicy visualization and uh, I did more healing stuff on Saturday, so um, yesterday and today, really about connecting to yourself, you know, letting go of anything that's holding you back. And this, today uh, was all about abundance and meditation on being open to receive. If you were shut down for whatever reason as a younger person, then you have a hard time asking for things maybe or especially in business or in your relationships or in the bedroom and so it's all connected and you want to heal that healing your any of the masculine energy of like asking or being in a, it's in an expectant space of money relationships men women whatever you prefer and um god you know that god really does have your back if you don't feel those things are meant to be with you or that you are deserving of them then there's some healing that can take place there and it doesn't take long you could just simply go in clear it like i said in the shower just imagine that shit just going down the drain that's not who you are anymore step into your soul self and who you are as the multi-dimensional being who's here having a human experience and the cool thing is you're here to experience you're just here to have fun and enjoy life whatever that looks like with safety of course but you know to really just step into that and to embody it and live the rest of your life feeling so good and that you've got joy coming out of your heart because that is contagious and other people will look at you and they'll say wow I want what she's having or I want what he's having okay awesome thank you so much everyone I really do appreciate all of you being here have a great day I'm going to be back tomorrow you can watch this watch for this in the uh, YouTube uh, or in our um, Facebook group, My Soul Reconnection. But tomorrow's going to be about how to monetize on social media. You have a business or you have an idea, it's not hard. There's a few little steps. You do not have to be posting content all day long or having you know a bazillion followers. It's not about that either. It's just really about being consistent and having some kind of follow-up steps so that when someone does reach out to you and they're like, wow, like, oh my gosh, Jane, you helped me so much. Or, oh my goodness, June, like, wow, you really helped me to heal that. I've been holding on to that for 60 years and you just with one sentence helped me to heal and to clear that. Thank you so much, you know, and then they're going to want to connect with you or how do I follow you on social media or how do I, how do I stay in touch with you? That energy, they're going to want to do that. Where I really started to experience this was I went to Mexico and there was a, um, a beautiful yoga teacher at the resort I was at. She was magic. Like she would do a class and people would come to her after, how do I follow you? What's your email? address like she would just talk to them but she was she would do the yoga but really she was speaking to their soul and you know inside to them I'm 
opening up their inner um, inner awareness and it was really cool you know she told me so many stories um, about that so that's neat that's gonna happen for you too right when you start shifting people and helping them transform even if you start free just to like get that under your belt so you've got that experience then what happens is it just starts to grow and it starts to build from there don't think of the big mountain hill ahead of you how do I get from here to you know 50k or 100k just go with the first step in front of you one step at a time meditate so you're calming your nervous system down so that you're feeling and and being able to listen to those uh, those um, messages that are coming you're not wrapped up in your fight or flight where you can't hear them because your brain is shut down that part of your brain really just open up and be open to receive the universe has your stuff ready it's there just you got to get into the vibration of it for it to come into your actual existence and for it to be there all right so we'll see you soon thank you so much take care